guys we are in the taco cabana drive through if you don't know what taco cabana is i'm really sorry but we have breakfast tacos in the south i know that for some people they're like what tacos for breakfast but yeah i get bean and cheese tacos um i don't i used to eat bean and cheese tacos like all the time lately i haven't been but i realized that chick-fil-a was not open for breakfast this morning because it is sunday morning so we are getting some breakfast tacos and then I'm going over to our grocery store, which is H-E-B, and I'm going to pick up um, my groceries that I ordered last night. I stayed up till like midnight last night because I thought, you know what, I'm gonna order some groceries and I am going to cook this week because I have been really bad about cooking lately. I've just been too tired and too lazy to do it. I mean, normally when I'm not pregnant, like I'm fine with cooking, but I've just been so tired that I don't want to do it. What, Bubba? But my husband is um, kind of out of town, a few hours or I don't know how far away it is, but um, he left this morning for baseball practice. This is their first baseball practice for his team of the season. So I officially now have become a baseball widow because baseball season is starting and that's just how it goes. Anyways, we're gonna pick up our food, then I'm gonna go pick up groceries. I will show you guys what I got when I get home with the groceries. Um, but if you don't have like a system where you can go and pick your groceries up, especially as a mom of like multiple kids, I never really hated going to the grocery store, um, but I always forgot stuff that I needed. So whenever I order them online, I have the chance to like, I'll kind of prolong it for like an hour and think about like, oh, did I forget something? But when you go to the store, like I always forget something. So that's a definitely a plus of being able to go and pick up your groceries. They also have delivery, um, but I just go and pick mine up. Like it's not a big deal. It's just getting out of the car, taking the kids in. Cooper lately has been like out of control when I go into stores. I don't know what his deal is. And I apologize for my hair. It's literally nine o'clock in the morning. I scheduled um, the pickup between 9.30 and 10. So we jumped in the car and we're gonna go pick up our groceries. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So we are at the grocery store and this is what you do if you've never done this before. Um, here you pull up in whatever slot or like parking spot that you're in, you send them a text message of C108 to that number and then they will bring it out from there and there's like a, a quite a few other people here picking up their groceries too so I'm gonna go ahead and text them so they can bring me my groceries out Putting our groceries in. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have, Have a good day. one. Okay, so now that we're home, I thought I would show you guys what I picked up from the grocery store and what I plan on making with it and um, all that before I need to put it up in the fridge. So I got some um, shredded cheese celery sticks. I'm going to see if um, Carter will eat these. He's a pretty good vegetable eater. I thought he might eat these, but these are actually for my chicken noodle soup that I'm going to be making, hopefully tonight. I got some bread and some eggs. We eat a lot of eggs around here. These are just some wood screws because I was out of wood screws. Um, I got some pinto beans and um, tuna because my husband and I like tuna sandwiches. I got some Frosted Flakes because the baby and I are now on a Frosted Flakes kick. I was on like another cereal kick and now I'm on this one. So <laughs> I got some Frosted Flakes. This is my favorite like already made lasagna. Um, it's a really, really good. It's a really easy option. I usually, I have always made my own lasagnas, but lately I just, 
I'm just too tired. <laughs> so that's a really good option for like when I'm picking up the kids late and stuff like that and we just wanna run home. It does take like an hour to cook though. So you do have to kind of prepare for that. Um, this is for the um, chicken noodle soup. And then this is for sandwiches, um, especially like for the kids lunches and stuff. I usually pack them turkey sandwiches. Um, here's some strawberry Greek yogurt, which I'm going to make some yogurt drops with those, I think, today. Um, so I'll show you guys how I do that. That was the plan with that, but Cooper loves yogurt, and um, so do I. So I got some taco shells because I'm going to make tacos for dinner one night. And then some carrots. Carter will eat carrots just by themselves for a snack and then his lunch. Cooper... Cooper's playing with trucks. Um, but these are also for my chicken noodle soup. And then we eat ground turkey around here. We don't eat beef very often. So I grabbed two ground turkeys. One will be for the tacos and one is probably gonna be for a salad that I might show you guys if I get a chance to make it today. And then um, strawberries, I got two because my kids eat strawberries around here like crazy. Um, and I also put strawberries in their lunches. I got some tomatoes. For tacos and for sandwiches, Carter will also just eat tomatoes. He's a really good vegetable eater. Um, green apples. We all eat green apples around here. All my kids love green apples. I eat green apples like every night for a snack. Um, some limes. These are mainly for a salad that I'm going to make. It's like a taco salad kind of, but I also like to put limes in my water. Um, I got some oatmeal chocolate chip cookie mix because it just sounded good. I'm I'm so pregnant, you guys. I don't even care. Like, they just sounded so good. So I grabbed those to make Fritos. These are for um, a salad that I'm trying to make like a bulk salad. That way, when I want to eat lunch, instead of just always having like a sandwich or something, I can have a salad that looks really good. I found it on Pinterest. And then um, cheese for sandwiches. This is for the chicken noodle soup. Um, I got some kids yogurts, this little squeezy ones. And you guys, I did not order these. I don't know if they accidentally made it in my bag. I don't know if I accidentally clicked it on the website. That can happen. Um, but I did not order these. However, they would make really good baked potatoes for lunch or dinner or whatever. So I'm not gonna complain. Those made it in there somehow. And then over here, I've got Diet Cokes. Um, I've got two organic whole milks. And this is another thing that I did not exactly intend on purchasing, but I must have accidentally clicked it. But it's fine because we drink milk like crazy around here, obviously. I barely have room in my fridge for all of this milk, but we go through a gallon of milk so fast, it's, it's just crazy. So I got those and then I grabbed this. We've never had this before. My kids like the orange carrot juice um, by another brand, but this one was orange carrot mango. So I thought that that sounded good. Plus it was bigger. Um, the bottle was bigger and it was actually cheaper. So I thought we would try this one out. Don't know if they're gonna like it or not, but I'm gonna give Cooper some in just a second and see if he likes it. So that is it. That is my grocery store haul. I think I still have some waters in the car and um, hopefully that's all I have left in the car. But I'm gonna go ahead and make these yogurt drops that I found on Pinterest. They're so easy. I don't really even need this recipe. Um, <laughs> I was just, I had to pull it up to make sure I didn't have to do anything else. But I'm just gonna be using the strawberry Greek yogurt. You put it in a baggie, you cut the corner out, and then you squeeze them out onto a cookie sheet. And then, um, I don't know when you do the sprinkles. The sprinkles are optional, but it makes them look really pretty. So I'll have to read that and see if you do them before you freeze them, because you put these in the freezer. Um, so we'll see. up to my sprinkles and I guess sprinkle these a little bit. This is what the 
it drops look like. Cooper is once again playing with trucks. Um, I used some red and green, like I had some Christmas sprinkles left over, so I tried to mix those in. Um, but they look really cute. Like, looks like something my kids would like to have for a snack. So, I'm gonna put them in the freezer for an hour. I needed to mention these shoes because I actually just talked about them on Instagram, but I am so in love with these shoes. I didn't talk about them in my most recent haul because they did not have them online yet. So I didn't want to tease you guys and be like, hey, these are the shoes I got. But guess what? They don't have them online. So they're finally online and the link will be below if you want to order some. I have a feeling they're going to go really, really fast. They are so soft. They're like, um, the back is collapsible. So it says on here you can wear them two different ways. I'm not sure that I would wear the back like closed in. It seems kind of weird. Like you're too lazy to put the back of your shoe on. I don't know, maybe not. I'm sure it would look really cute. Um, but if you're pregnant, these are the shoes for you. They are so comfortable. They're like the next best thing to wearing slippers out in public. And if the mule trend is not for you, then these are perfect. Um, so I will leave the link below. They're pretty true to size. I either wear like a nine or an eight and a half. Usually I wear a nine, so they're pretty true to size. If not, size up like half a size. I'm gonna show you what they look like on so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. But they're just so comfortable. Oh, and they have two other um, colors. They've got like a dark brown and then a black, I think. This is like the blush color, but they're so cute, so comfortable. They're gonna be adorable with like denim jeans, white jeans, shorts, anything really. So these have been in the freezer for an hour. They look so yummy. Look like frosting, like a yum. I'm gonna um, take a few out and put them in a bowl and see what Cooper thinks about them. And I'm gonna try them too. So this is what they look like. Yum, those look really good. I mean, if I was a kid, I would want to eat those for a snack. Look what I made. <laughs> is it cold? Keep it in your mouth. Put it back in your mouth. Cooper went in for a second one. They're good. They taste just like those freeze dried yogurt drops that you give them. So if you've got little kids, this is a really good snack, especially if they're teething because they're cold on their teeth. What do you think? Those are good, aren't they? <laughs> those are yummy. Mommy's gonna eat some more. Hey, are you a baby? <laughs> you're not a baby. You're my baby, but you're not a baby anymore. So this is um, Cash's little bouncer. I got him. I just got it off of Amazon. It's the Fisher Price like little puppy one, and I'll show you once he gets out. Um, I liked the neutral colors of it, of course, but it was really highly rated and really cheap. I mean, I think it was like thirty something dollars. And as you can see, it's got all the features down here. It's got the music, vibration. I don't have any batteries in it yet, but it was pretty cheap and um, had really, really good ratings. It was like the best rated one, so. But my boys did not like this swing, so I sold it a long time ago. See, this is what it looks like. Um, but they did not like their swing. I had a really nice Fisher Price swing that I got for Carter. He didn't like it, then Cooper didn't like it, so I sold it, because I was like, you know what? Pretty sure my future boy is not gonna like it either, so we did away with the swing. So I have this, and then I have the rock and play, which is like a must have for a baby. So I had this one for Cooper. I almost got rid of it and then I got pregnant. So we saved this one. This does have the vibration feature on it. I was gonna say, I don't think it vibrates anymore. It needs new batteries. So I'm gonna have to get new batteries for all of this stuff before he gets here. <laughs>
So I am finished getting ready. Um, my makeup literally only took me about seven minutes or so. And I say seven because I'm pretty sure it wasn't five, but it wasn't 10. So we're just gonna go with seven. What I use pretty much day to day, like this is just a, this is my day to day makeup. So I am starting um, dinner. Cooper just woke up from his nap. He took like a two and a half hour nap. That's what he's been doing lately, like two and a half to three hours, which is awesome for me, but it kind of like delays bedtime a little bit, but I'll take the break in the middle of the day. But I'm gonna start making the soup. So earlier, I went ahead and boiled some chicken, cooked it all the way through and everything. That way I could like dice it up for the um, soup. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut up the celery and carrots. I don't really like celery, um, other than like in my soup. I think celery is gross, but you know. I've got the carrots celery and chicken all in there sauteing in the olive oil and then I'm about to add the chicken broth and Italian seasoning and oregano. So now I'm just gonna put the lid on and let it boil for about five minutes or so. Okay, it's ready and it looks so good. I just put some in a bowl for me. And I'm gonna put some in the bowl for the boys because Carter just got here um, and let it cool off because it's really, really hot. But we just took a bath and I was trying to get some of the clothes out of the dryer when somebody had to crawl inside. Coop, hey, don't worry, it's not hot in here. This has been off for like all day. <laughs> Can you help me put the clothes in here, please? I'll help. Because we're gonna have to get out. I'll help. <laughs> you gotta get out, Bubba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, bye. So obviously, I am ending this the following day. Um, I'm not sure what I ended yesterday with. I was probably cooking chicken noodle soup, which was really good, by the way. And I had a lot left over, so I went ahead and put it in the fridge. It will probably last like quite a few lunch meals and dinner meals. So if you're looking for something. Um, really easy and can kind of last you all week. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to eat chicken noodle soup all week, but you know what I mean. Like um, this morning I went and ran a few errands that I really needed to run um, and they weren't just like, oh, let me go browse Target. But glad that I was able to get those done. Cooper is napping and once he wakes up, we're gonna be taking Marlo over to be groomed. So I'm really just trying to like check things off of my to-do list today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was mainly like a lot of cooking. At least it seemed like a lot of like, groceries and cooking and stuff, which I had a lot of requests for. You guys wanted to see like meals and grocery hauls and cook with me and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.